Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Darren and Eloise. Darren and Eloise, there you go, it's hey. But guys, um, today, so be myself, and I'm coming at you for another nursing video, okay? Nursing video, so like you know, Darren already, he ain't part of the nursing videos, okay? Unless, like, you guys really want his, his perspective on the videos, um. He ain't gonna be part of the missing video, so today's a missing video. If you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like and drop a comment, guys. Um, if you are not following us on our social media accounts, don't forget to do that Facebook, Eloise Hippolyte, um, Darren Hippolyte, Instagram, Prince DKH, Eloise Hippolyte. Same Eloise Hippolyte. Hey, bye. I'm claiming my name. So, guys, yes. Um, sorry about the lighting. Um, I'm at work. Yes, I have a little break. So, you know, when I have the little break and when I'm at work, the ideas are flowing because my brain is working because I'm at work. When I'm home, my brain is not really working because, like, shut down mode, chill mode. But when I'm at work, my brain is bam, bam, let's go, let's get it, girl. So, like, my brain is moving. So, like, some of the ideas are flowing. Um, you know things I can do for the videos and stuff. What well, I can tell you guys, it's there, it's flowing. So like, I am ready. A little, yeah, maybe a little. Can I sound weird? Talking to myself in a little room, but let's get this moving. So today's video is what not to do, nurses. Don't do it to us, Pate Nusa. Don't do it to us, sis, bro. Whoever you are, do not do it. Do not do it to nurses, firemen, police officers, essential workers. Like, please, guys. Like, it's annoying. It's irritating. <laughs> you guys are tiring us out. Okay? So, let's go. I have, like, nine pointers here, um, which I think you should show to your family and your friends. And trust me, you may just want to forward them or screen grab this video because, like, it's super interesting. And... Sometimes you just want to send the power for your family or friends. Guys, this is the video. So, let's let's get popping. Okay. Number one, do not call us. Text first. Unless it's an emergency. An emergency. I mean, you are dying. Like, dying, dying. And if you're dying, I shouldn't be the one you're calling. Call 911. You understand? Try and get to the hospital. Don't waste your time calling me. There is nothing I could do for you. Honestly, there is nothing I could do for you. Alright? Like, let me tell you guys. Do not call us. Text us. Because more than likely, we just got home after a night shift. Or we are working in the middle of a procedure or something. Guys, text us. If we, if we find what or we assume what you're saying is uh, important or we find what you're saying is important, we're going to call you back. Okay, guys? Do not call us at 2, 3 a.m. in the morning. Boo, are you crazy? How would you feel if we called you? I don't say, I thought you had work. You thought I was where? Excuse me. So, do I leave for work, pal? Don't do me that. Do not do us that. Do not call us, to us at 2, 3 a.m. Okay, with, um, oh, hey, um, Ella, a centipede bit me. What do I do? Yeah, you're going to call me at 2, 3 a.m. Tell me a centipede bite you. Sis, are you crazy? Huh? Go to the ER and take your church out. Do not call me at 2, 3 a.m. in the morning. Tell me I'll send the bike. Are you, are you mad? I can't tell some of you all. No, 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 no. Do not call me at 6 a.m. to ask me if I'm coming in town today. Do not do that to me, okay? All right? What if I was not up getting ready for work and I was sleeping because we don't get to sleep in much you would have woken me up from my sleep to ask me if I'm going to town. Let me tell you, just text first. So if you text and you don't get me, then you know I'm sleeping or I'm busy. When I get up, I'm going to text you back. And even when I text you back, don't think you can call me. No, you cannot. I'm not in the mood for the calls. Okay? <laughs> don't take that. Don't take it as a rude. Don't take it as me being rude. Okay? Peace and love. Number two, do not ask for advice and you don't use it. Why are you going to call me and ask me what to do for such and such? And when I do it, you're still, you're going to ignore my advice and then you still go to the hospital just to hear what I said. 
if you knew you were going to go to the hospital, or you know you're going to go to the hospital, do not call me. If you think I'm incompetent and I can't give the right advice, do not call me. Just do what you got to do. Do not waste my precious time. Time is money. Money is time. You're wasting my time. You're wasting my sleep. You're wasting my time. I could have been washing my clothes, washing my dishes, but instead, here I am, doing my business, here, doing my, not doing my laundry, listening to you, and then you're just going to go and do exactly what I told you. Then go sell your relationships too, boo. If you're not going to leave the guy, don't go up and ask me my, my opinion, boo. Don't waste my time. Okay, don't have me get on like this on this video. Like, don't waste my time. Don't waste my essential workers' time. We all we're tired, got things to do, you know. Tip number three Do not ask us to take supplies from work. Okay, boom. When we need something, we go outside and we pay for it. Do not ask us to take our work stuff. Are you trying to get us fired? Are you trying to get us called thieves? Are you crazy? Don't do that to us. If you need something, you go and buy. Don't ask us to take the people's supplies from our workplace to give you. No, boo, I can't get you plaster. No, boo, I can't get you bandage. No, boo, I can't get you cotton. I'm sorry, get a pharmacy, get a store, I can't assist, <laughs> hello, do I look like a supermarket, do I look like a walk-in shop, please, like, don't ask us to take stuff from our workplace, no boo, we can't do that, we cannot help you with that, okay, no, we don't get staff discounts, no, it don't work like that, we can't, mm -mm. Hell. Number four, do not, let me get up close to this, do not, do not pate, don't do it, don't do that, do not do it, do not ask any medical professional for patient's information. I do not care if it's your grandmother, or your auntie, your sister, your nanan. You speak with the next of kin and not me. Do not call my phone and ask for patient's information. If you would like an update, you call the hospital's phone. Do not call me and ask me what does your uncle, nan, and cousin, brother, Bope have? Okay, are you trying to get me fired, boo? Do you know how hard I worked for my license? Do not ask me patient's information. I will make you ashamed and I'm going to tell you no. It's illegal. I can't last in jail. Do I look like I could last in jail? Yes, I wear the big uniforms, but I'm getting paid to do that, boo. But I ain't going to wear no big orange, whatever. The, what's the color? What's the color? I'm born in it. I ain't going to wear it because of you. Do not ask me to go in a patient's file and see why they are at the hospital. No, should we? Are you the next of kin? If you are the next of kin, then you come to the hospital and you speak to the provider. I cannot do that for you. Are you crazy? Hello. <laughs> do I look like I could lose this job? Do I look like I can afford to lose this job? No, I cannot. No. No. No privilege for me. No, none. My mom does sleep up. I'm rude. I wouldn't survive without the job. No. I need this job. I need it. So don't ask me nothing so. I wouldn't last on the outside, no on the inside. I will last here to leave me here in this job. I love it. I love the job. Mm -mm. <laughs> Point number five. This one is mostly for our family. Our mother, fathers, auntie, grandmothers. Do not call us to attend to people in the community. I am not a community. As much as I love helping people, do not wake me up. Especially in the 
you're waking me apart to go and attend to somebody. Listen to me, pal. I paid to go to school. I am still paying to further my degree. Everything in this world is money. Money makes it run. I don't have a problem helping because I, listen, you help people, you understand? And that's how good comes back to you. That's how you're able to progress in life because at some point in time you did good and you're in the favor of the gods. But, like, I'm not a community nurse. Do not ask me to go to somebody's home to check on them, okay? Don't ask me to go to somebody's home to change their dressing. First of all, sis, what am I changing the dressing? Are you yet again asking that I take hospital supplies to go and change the dressing? Hmm. Do not do that to us. You're not... We're not that close in the first place for me to even go at the person's home. You understand? I'm not close to the person. So don't ask me to do that. Okay? I mean, if I'm close to you, yeah, sure. Like, hello. But, like, they come and ask you for the wireless people because, oh, um, she's a nurse. She lives in the community. Or she could do it. No, that's not how it works, boo. And even then, that'd be the first thing that be able to make you lose your license. Professor. Because they'll say, oh, but she said no, she was coming. Hey, lawsuit, courthouse, not me. No, sis, not me. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. Lawsuit saying that, friends. Don't mix me. Mm -hmm. You're not about to lose me, hair. Huh? You're not about to lose me, hair. Huh? You don't about to make me lose my money, my financial, my source of income, my finances. You know about like a little bit. On that note of finances, stop assuming, okay? Stop assuming essential workers have money because they worked through the entire pandemic. But we still had the bills to pay. Most of you have got what? What was this? This, um... A grace period of like six months, whatever. Y'all got that, but we ain't get that because we're still working. We still have our bills to pay. And maybe even more, we paid more because like for workers, skilled workers, oh, you were working through the pandemic. So instead of the little $100 they would have charged you, they now charge you 250 because they have got to make ends meet too. Stop assuming we have money. We do not. We broke. We rock. We rock. You understand? You think if I was happy, I wouldn't have some makeup on my face and work here right now? No, but we broke. Something that to us. Understand? We are tired. We tired. No last. We are tired. We work for a whole pandemic. Bags and the masses. I see all of my glasses. Whoa, I'm ugly without my glasses. Wow, what is that? We are tired. I'm not the tired eyes. We are tired, y'all. Tired don't mean money. Tired don't mean rich. We are tired. We are probably rich in blessings. I might probably get my reward in heaven. But we are tired. And as I'm saying I'm tired, do not come and compare your work to mine, boo. Do not come and compare your 8 to 4 job to mine. Because I got... Listen to, listen to this. As a nurse, okay, you are expected to tidy patients. Well, I don't mean it so around the world, I really not. But here, we tidy, we have to tidy patients. We have to turn you around, turn you on the side, do this, do that, clean you up, uh, prevent you from falling, like run, catch you, because woo, so tell if you fall, lawsuit, lawsuit, I'm trying to avoid the lawsuit. Guys, we are tired. And you know what's frustrating is that somebody would compare their job to yours. I'm not saying you are not tired, boo. You are tired. But you ain't my level of tired. You ain't my, I'm physically, mentally, emotionally. Is there another early to be tired in? Physically, emotion, physically, emotionally, spiritually, Give me another early. Let me add. We're tired early. We're tired. Don't do that. We're overworked. 
And then here you are coming to come and go, I am so tired, my feet hurting. Hey, your feet hurting too. You are seated in AC all day. I was screaming, pop, pop. I tell you, pop, sis. How you gonna compare? I was watching somebody's mama die, sis, take their last breath. Mentally affecting me, sis. Huh? Yo. Mm -mm. Do not compare. We see stuff, y'all. We see stuff. No, you men should have to see. But you know what? We're built for this. We handle that. But we're tired. Don't come and compare your job to ours. <laughs> you cannot do that to us. No, boo. Mm -mm. And last but not least, and I will end this here. I'm going to end it here. So what I've given you nine points. This is a nine. If you are going to invite me out, an essential worker out, anybody out, we are not on your schedule. You are on my schedule, boo. I'm out here saving lives, being super girl. Marvel hero style. Make plans on my schedule, boo. Because when you are off Saturday and Sunday, here I am at 2 a.m. driving to look with sleeping my eyes. Here I am at 7 a.m. I can't reach old drum for expired. And you know I cannot lose the job because I want the money. Because I need the money. And I love my job. I cannot stay home and sit here do nothing. I'm going to miss my blood. I'm going to miss my job. Make plans with us at least a week in advance. Allow us to um, plan our schedule. Request the time off. Allow us to plan our sleep. Because you know, we have to plan our sleep. So when I know I'm working Monday, Tuesday morning, okay, I know Sunday, get enough sleep because you won't be getting Monday, Tuesday. You understand? But when you come at me, boom, bam, because I work Tuesday morning, so you're assuming the night I have time. Oh, okay, let's, I work Monday morning, so you assume... I have Monday afternoon, but listen, listen, you missed the point that Tuesday morning, I have work, I can't get drunk, boo. But maybe you can, because you're off. So at least if you say, hey, hun, we're getting drunk, at least I know, okay, let me request, but Monday and Tuesday, so I don't go to work drunk and put somebody's life at risk. We're going to get drunk on that day. We're going to party that day. I'm going to be tired. I'm going to sleep, and I'm going to come back energized and recharged and ready. You understand? Meet us halfway, guys. And so please, if you know on this plan essential worker, anybody, these tips, these rules apply to them too because we all fall in the same bracket. Our life is unpredictable. We do not know what's going to happen. We don't know what time they're going to call us. Sometimes you're at your home, lounging, living beautifully, living life to the fullest. And then they call you, hey, we should start. Can you come in? And you know, you go in like, guys, our sisters, do not disturb us. Bear with us. Okay? We don't want to make you ashamed. Most times we really do not. But, like, we're so frustrated. Because, like, we're home. We get to relax and then. And we are bored in our lives. So, sometimes, some of you have to get the hot chat shot. We've got to make you ashamed. Not our fault. So, bear with us, guys. Okay? Bear with us. So, guys, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, do so. Like this video, drop a comment. Let me tell you, if I forgot something, drop it in the comment section. Let the others see. They're going to see. Yes, pal. Always check the descriptions. I might drop one, two little things in there. <laughs> yes, pal. I hope so far you have enjoyed our adventure videos. Because, like, as I said, it is planned. So, diary wants to go on an adventure. I want to go on an adventure. I know in advance and I request the time and we go on an adventure. Sometimes we don't even know where we're going, but we're going because we ain't going to stay home when we're off. We just need to do something, you know. And so, guys, thanks for watching. So, have a blessed and wonderful day. Love you from the Hippolyte. Mwah.